Hey, how's it going you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be replacing the fuel filter for my 2007 Subaru Forester XT. Now, just a quick disclaimer, this is not proper tutorial, so make sure you do additional research if you do want to replace your fuel filter. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this modification. So before we begin, take a look at the screen to see what you'll need for this job. The first step in this process will be to remove power to the fuel pump. To do this, you'll need to remove the glove box compartment. And for this step, you'll just need to remove the screws here and it should pop right out. Next, to get better access to your fuel pump connection, you'll need to remove these two bolts here. The bracket should slide right off. The fuel pump connection is right here. To make things easier, you'll need a right angle pick and a flathead screwdriver here. This can be tricky to get out. For the next step, let's go ahead and remove the rear compartments. Be careful here and take your time. You can damage the foam pieces here, so just be very careful here. Next, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and take off these four screws. Once you remove the first cover, you should go ahead and clean up the fuel tank cover really thoroughly. Afterwards, you'll need to remove this fuel pump connection here and the other fuel lines around here. There will be some residual fuel coming out, so you'll definitely want to be ready for this. Once the fuel lines are disconnected, there will be 8 nuts that you'll want to take off. Once these nuts are off, be careful here and take your time. You'll need to slowly bring up the fuel pump assembly and be very careful about damaging anything here. Once the assembly is out and while it's out, let's go ahead and replace the old gasket with the new gasket here. Now let's go back to the fuel pump assembly. To remove the old fuel filter, you'll need to remove the screw here with Phillips screwdriver. Once the bracket is loose, there's another screw that you'll see here. Lastly, you'll need to move this clamp here. Once the spring is off, you'll need to slip the fuel pump out of this rubber housing. This will give room for the fuel filter to slip out. Afterwards, the old fuel filter should just slip right off. Let's go ahead and take a look at the old and new filter here. Now don't forget about this rubber grommet here. You'll definitely need this, so just make sure you slip this right back into place on the new filter. Afterwards, you just need to reassemble everything. Definitely make sure that this is aligned correctly here. Once the fuel assembly is reassembled, put everything back into place. Don't forget to tie the boats in a crisscross pattern. Now with the fuel assembly back in the fuel tank, all you need to do is put everything back and you should be good to go. Alright guys, so that will be it for this video. If you guys found this video helpful or have any other questions, feel free to like or comment down below. And as always, if you guys want to see what happens next to the XT86, 986, the Z, the 50 or the Macan, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.